Pisces. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general message for February 2022. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being patient with me while I was on my hiatus. Now, let's get right into your general message. Now, for a lot of these messages, for some reason, a lot of love is coming through, but this is not a love message. However, if love does come through, we will definitely discuss it. All right, Pisces. So let's see what is going on for Pisces for the month of February. Let's move on to, yes, 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 my mama's deck. Angels, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Pisces. Hmm. What is going on for Pisces? Moving on to, of course, the Dragon's deck. And yes, as we know, the Dragon's deck is always read right side up to get out all the positive energy that we can. <laughs> yes. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and top off the message, Pisces, with the Hummingbird deck. Thank you. Angels, what is going on for lovely, lovely, intuitive Pisces for this month. Hmm, what is going on here? This is very interesting. Angels, we're looking for some joy. Yes, we are for Pisces. Thank you, thank you. Now let's tidy up a bit and we will get right into the message here. Okay, are we ready? Okay, Pisces, we have the moon card. The major theme is the moon card reversed with the jack of hearts, the moderation, the ace of hearts, and the jack of hearts. So what I'm feeling here is the moon card is reversed. Something has become crystal clear. Crystal, crystal clear, Pisces. There must be a sacrifice needed here this month, but take it slow. No need to rush through this sacrifice. This has to do with you. You are the one making this sacrifice through and through. This card has come up twice. The sacrifice, sacrifice. I hear sacrifice. You are making a sacrifice because you now understand something very well. Now, let's take a peek at the recent past to see how or where you we come to this, okay? All right, now, the positive energy from the recent past is the five of wands reversed with the four of clubs, a lot of understanding, timing, king of diamonds, and the five of clubs. So in the recent past, I feel like an argument has been put to rest in a recent past. I feel like it was da-da-da-da-da, but it was definitely put to bed, and you, with the four of clubs, did that yourself. The timing, it was perfect timing how you handled this because you know you put your crown on okay Pisces you put your crown on and you changed the direction of your mind you may have moved you may have changed your thoughts regarding something in the past but regarding a, a, maybe there was a bickering bickering and you were done you were over the bickering you were over the miscommunication things of that nature and you decided, you know, no more. I get it now. I, I get it. Maybe this miscommunication, maybe this conversation, maybe all of this was going to continue over and over and over again. And you've decided, you did decide in the recent past, okay, I'm done with that and not having that discussion again. Okay. Now that was in the recent past. Now, Let's take a peek in the middle of the month. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed with the Ten of Clubs, rewards, Queen of Spades, Eight of Diamonds. So in the middle of the month with the Ace of Pentacles reversed, it feels like there is uh, something new that you're wanting to start and it's not starting. It looks like it has something to do with your resources, but don't worry. Keep doing what you are doing. The success will come. Rewards will come. Do the inner work. You, it's almost like the abundance will come your way. You're just going to have to take your time. Okay, you're just gonna have to let the angels do their work behind the scenes. I know, I know, I know, Pisces, that is very difficult to do because Pisces are in their dream world and they wanna see their dreams come true. Your dream will come true, but you gotta let the angels do it for you, okay? Now, let's take a peek at the, ah, 
I know what I always say, what goes on the floor stays on the floor, but I felt like we needed this. Okay. All right. So the end of the month, we have the tower card reversed with the ace of diamonds. A lot of new coming your way. Boundaries, 10 of hearts and the ace of clubs. So I am picking up here. There is a new beginning coming at the end of the month. It's going to shock you. It's going to blow your mind. It is a new beginning. It may be a new beginning in relationships. It may be in a new beginning in your resources, your job, or something of that nature. But make sure whatever this new beginning is, yes, it's happening, happening suddenly, but make sure you set your boundaries in this. You will be supported in this boundary setting. Think differently. Think outside the box. If you used to say yes immediately, this time say, let me think about it. If you used to say, I'll do this right away, let me think about it before you jump into this new opportunity. It's going to come quick, maybe even too quick for you, almost like, whoa. Okay, let me think about this. Let this like it's gonna cut it's gonna catch you off guard. That's all I'm saying. This new opportunity is gonna catch you off guard. You may need time to think about it before you jump in. Okay? Now Let's take a peek at your bonus. You have the Queen of Cups reversed with the Queen of Swords reversed, the Eight of Hearts, the Place card, the King of Clubs, and the Joker. So your bonus here is telling me with the Queen of Cups, you're not really in your feelings this month, the Queen of Swords, you're not necessarily letting people like walk all over you, but you're not necessarily in your feelings either. You have a lot of power here because you're not in your feelings, if that makes sense. Right where you are, you don't need to go anywhere to, 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 I don't see you searching here or there to gain your power. Your power is in yourself, if that makes sense. Own your power, speak your truth, lead the way if you need to. This is, like I said, a lot of things are going to catch you off guard this month because you are not in your emotions, because you, I know that sounds weird, but because you are not in your emotions, Pisces, you are going to be able to make a very analytical decision that comes about instantly this month okay don't be shocked when it happens and you can say okay dora said don't rush don't accept the offer right away you know they always say don't take the first house when you're looking for a piece of property don't take the first whatever it is it feels like a job it feels like an opportunity whatever it is don't take the first one and if you do take the first one make sure you've done the homework make, make sure this is not an emotional you know um, move if you will be mindful be Check the bottom line before you say yes to anything. Now, I feel like because you're in the middle of making a sacrifice, you might kind of because you're in the middle of making a sacrifice, you might do this little knee-jerk reaction and say, yes, 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 because maybe you're not really comfortable where you are because you are making a sacrifice, so you might just jump on something, but don't jump on anything. Take your time. Get out of your emotions. Take your emotions out of it and think about this clearly, okay? Um, things in the middle of the month, once again, will go your way as long as you do the inner work. Don't All I'm getting over and over and over again, don't accept the first offer. So whether it's love, whether it's a trip, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, think it through first. I feel like you're in the Pisces. I feel like you're in a situation where you don't necessarily want to be in and you're, you're wanting to take the first thing that comes your way. Don't do that. Make the sacrifice and hold on just a little bit longer. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy. Namaste and much, much love sent your way.